So here is the word problem that everybody loves doing. So we're going to have a wonderful word problem. And here's a formula that we're going to use for this word problem. And the crazy thing about it is, if you look at both formulas that we've talked about in this whole section with um, arithmetic sequence series, it is the exact same formula, but mashed up together. So here you see that has the N minus one and the A one. That's the, um, the, um, uh, the AN formula. And then it has the SN over here and has the A1 here too, another A1. So that's why we have two A1s. It's all mashed up together to find an answer that we're looking for. And this happens when you don't have the N, when N is not given to you, when you don't know what N is. You don't know how many numbers are in the sequence. So that's what we're gonna to have to find out today and that's what we're gonna use when it comes to this. So here, we're gonna talk about Ophelia and the real estate. And real estate is a very good thing to go into. I have a friend that's in real estate that actually he's like booming in um, real estate right now. He's doing great things. So what I want you to do is go ahead and write this down. And yes, I want you to write it down because it's a word problem and they love giving word problems on the final exam. So I want you to be good with word problems. So I'm just, I just want you to go ahead and write this down and then we'll go ahead and work on it together. So if you need to go ahead and stop the video and go ahead and write it down, go ahead and stop the video and write it down. And then I'll be right, I'll continue on with this video to go ahead and solve that part. Okay, so we have Ophelia here. Ophelia Gomez sells houses in a new development. She makes a commission of $3,750 on the sale of her first house. To encourage aggressive selling, Mrs. Ms. Gomez's employer promises a $500 increase in commission for each additional house sold. Thus, on the sale of her next house, she will earn $4,250. How many houses will Ms. Gomez have to sell for her total commission in one year to be $65,000? So in other words, by the end of this, the year, she should be able to have $65,000. Once you see this and once we finish working this whole problem out, you realize, wait, I can sell real estate and I can sell a house. I can only work, I can work like 11, 11, 12, or let's say about maybe nine months or so out the year. And I can have the other months just to sit around and do whatever because I make $65,000 in that first few months of, of first part of the year. So here, we're going to take a look at that. But what we have to do is dissect this work problem. There's so many different things going on here, so many different numbers, all that good stuff. And again, we're using the same formula that we just wrote up top. And it's, again, that's a mixture of all the formulas that we have. So, uh, sorry, so I keep using the wrong A there. So all of these are up there in that formula. At the top of the screen. And what we're going to have to do is figure out what is the, um, what numbers go with what thing, and then be able to substitute everything in and solve it out. Now, the biggest thing here is we, I just told you guys that this problem is for those um, when we don't know how many um, terms are in the sequence. We don't know what the n is. So here, we don't know what n is. That's the whole thing. That's the whole whole thing about this. So we know here. If we look at the rest of them, we know A1 is the first number in the sequence. We know D is the common difference, the number that's, that diff, um, goes between the numbers. So we add the same number each time to get to the next number in the sequence. And then we know SN is the final thing, the last sum, the big amount that we are trying to get to. So let's go ahead and go through this again. So she says she makes a commission of 3750 on her first house. So that is her first house that she sold. So if we're talking about a sequence, that's like the first number, right? Yeah. So her first house is that. So it means this is our A1. So for our A1, we're going to put 3750. 750. Okay, so keep going on. 
to encourage aggressive selling. They want to make their money too. Um, Miss Miss Gomez's employer promises five hundred dollars a five hundred dollar increase in commission for each additional house sold. So they give you this next part to try to make help you understand what that what that just said. So on the sale of her next house, instead of her getting three thousand five hundred seven. $3,750, she's getting $4,250. So that was an increase of $500, right? So if it's an increase of $500, and for each house she gets an in, a, additional $500 additional for each house she sells, can't that be the common difference there? Because each time you sell a house, you're going to get $500 more on top of it. So that means that's going to be our, our common difference, our D. So we're going to put 500 here for our common difference. Because every house she sells, she's going to get $500, $500 more on it. Because they want, to, they want to increase their sales as much as possible. Okay, so 4250 that could be, can be considered our A2. But we really don't need A2, but I'm just going to put that down. That would be our A2, that's our second. That's her second house. Okay. And so the last number that's here is has to be SN. It has to be, because that's the only thing that's left over. Huh. The only thing. So with that, how many houses will Miss Miss Gomez have to sell her have to sell? Sorry. How many houses will Miss Gomez have to sell for her total commission in one year to be sixty five thousand dollars? Okay, so her total is going to be $65,000. So the sum of all her houses together. So we don't know how many houses there are, because this is the number of houses that she has to sell. We don't know that number yet, so that's what we have to figure out. All right, so let's go ahead and take all these pieces here. And let's go ahead and put it into the formula and try to see if we can figure out what the answer is going to be. How many houses does she have to sell so she can get that $65,000 and kind of be done for the year? I'm going to write the formula down again. We're going to fill everything in at this point. And this is going to come back with your arithmetic skills to see like, how to do it because this is going to take some time. It's not going to be like, oh, this is easy. I got this. Bam. This is some work. All right, so here... We don't know what we don't know what the actual number is for S N, well the actual N part. So we know what S N is is five thousand. So we put that there. Don't know what N is, so we keep it there. Keep the two. A one we said was thirty seven fifty. And again, we don't know what that is, so we keep that there. And our common difference is five hundred. All right, so now the next part is working this bad boy out. So we're going to have some work to be done and everything. So I'm going to do with everything that's on the inside of the parentheses. And um, hopefully you stay with me on this. If you have to go back and look at it again, go back and look at it. Um, we're going to multiply that together. And we're going to also distribute 500 to both of these. So we multiply those two together, we get 7,500. And if we distribute here, we get 500 in minus 500. We still have n divided by 2. Okay, so we still have that. And we're going to go ahead and combine like terms that are inside the parentheses. Remember, uh, please. Um, excuse me, dear Sally, we just follow the same rules of parentheses first. So that gets a 7,000 here underneath it. Okay, now, to make this as simple as possible, what we're going to do, we're going to distribute this n over 2 again to both of these terms because that's on the outside of the parentheses so we dealt with the parentheses by itself we simplify that down as far as possible 
Now we have the fraction that we're going to distribute to those things inside the parentheses. So let's go ahead and do that now. So n times 7,000 will be 7,000 n divided by 2. And then for the second part, we have n times 500 n. So n times n is n squared. So that would be 500 n squared. We're still going to divide that by 2. Now equal $65,000. Okay. Now, at this point, we're going to simplify the fractions. So here, simplify that down as like 3,500 n. That is 250 n squared. We get 65,000 here. Now, with it, it looks really, should look familiar because we're starting to deal with a, um, by, uh, a quadratic function here. So that means we need to move this, these numbers off to the same side so that we have a quadratic function going on. So I'm going to move this over, and because there's no like terms over here, we cannot combine it to anything. We just move it over here. No like terms at all. So we get zero on the left side, and we get all these wonderful things. And I'm going to rewrite this because it needs to be in descending order. So we have all of that. And the last part is we can either factor things, or we can do um, complete the square, and really the, when it comes to factoring, it's not going to work out. If you do complete the square, it's going to be a lot of work there trying to figure out what's going on. So the last thing is what you should have learned last year, or refreshed last year, which is the quadratic formula. And hopefully everybody remembers that one, which x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Right, so with that, we're going to substitute the values in. And again, make sure that's all I need. Substitute the values in, and we're going to find our answer. So we know this is a, this is b, and this is c. Substitute so those in, we're going to find our values. And with it, I'm going to change it. I want to do it because we have a positive and a negative. I'm going to do it in two separate ones because we can't put a positive and a negative in the calculator at the same time. So I'm going to make it two separate ones. And I'm also going to fill out the numbers. So negative B, which is 5,500 plus square root of b, which is 3,500 squared minus 4 times 250. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then c, which is a negative 65,000. All divided by um, two times five, two, two fifty. All right. So when you put this in the calculator, you can do the alpha y equals, and I'm not going to actually show you right now, but do alpha y equals. We do the negative three five zero zero plus. Well, actually, let me stop the video right here. And then I'm going to bring up the next video and actually do that.